Hello everyone and welcome to ACAD Gil. In this video, we'll see how to work with match function. What match function does is and what are the advantages? Match function basically returns the relative position of the value in the list. You see, I've written here, returns the relative position of the value in the list. For example, this is a table given here. If you see, I have income which is 0 to 700, allowances from 0 to 5, and these are the tax I have to pay. If this is the income, let's say 300, and this is what you call the allowances, that is 4. Okay, so how much is the tax I have to pay? That is 5, $5. So these are the incomes and the allowances. But what I want to do is, I want to find out the position number of 300 in this array. So I have written here, if the income is 300, what is the position number? And if the allowance is 5, what is the position number? So we have a function which is given as match. So match will give me the position number. Let us find out the position number of 300. So the table is very small. You can verbally count the position number of 300 is how much? It's 4. So for 700, the position number would be as 8. So, but if the table is very lengthy and if you want to find out or else if you want to work with VLOOKUP, we use this match function. So in the coming videos, we'll see how to work with VLOOKUP with match function. Now, let us see, to find out the position, I have to use three, two things, three things basically. That's my lookup value and my lookup array and exact match. Lookup value, lookup array, exact match. So let us see here, equal to match. The first parameter says lookup value. That's my lookup value, comma. Now it's asking for the lookup array. This is my lookup array. I don't have to select the entire table, entire record because I just want to find out in that particular range, okay, from 0 to 700, what is the position number of 300? And I'll just put as comma 0. The value of meaning of 0 is nothing but exact match. So once I press enter, I'll be getting the position number as 4. Let's put as 500, enter. So 500 is belongs to position number 6. If you see, the number is given as 6. If you count, you'll get a 6. If I put as 700, I'll get position number as 8. So match function basically gives the relative position in the list. Now, where I got this notes here, when I started typing equal to match, okay, the moment before I complete the text here, you see what it given. This tooltip says returns the relative position of an item in an array that matches a specified value in specified order. Okay, so in short, if I say it returns the relative position of an item. Okay, so equal to match lookup value comma, that's my lookup array comma zero. Zero stands for exact match. Let us try for the allowances equal to match lookup value comma. Next is my lookup array. That's the row I've selected zero to five comma and I'll put as zero. Zero stands for exact match. So position number of five in this array is how much? Six. If I change the position number as two, I'll be getting the answer as three. So position number of 700 is eight and position number of two is how much? Three. Okay. So this is how you can work on this match function. Independently, it doesn't have much importance, match and index functions. But when you try to use with some important functions like VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, it will give you more meaning. Okay, so I hope you have understood how to work with this match function and what are the benefits of using this match function. That's all for this video. Hey guys, if you like the video, please support us by clicking on the like button and subscribe the channel for further new upcoming videos on Excel. Thank you. A cat killed. Average is dead.